guys, happy new year. This is Laura Ventura here with Pause and On Mobile Grooming. And today I just wanna share with you guys some of the best practices on creating your business plan for a mobile grooming business. All right guys, so before this video ends, you're gonna have a clear idea on how to get your business plan started. And I will be going down all of the things that I put in my business plan and all the things that you should have in your business plan. Um, and I just want to elaborate a little bit more on the importance of a business plan. Um, you might not need one to get the financing that you need, or you might not think that it's of importance, but it is because it's literally your roadmap to success. And here you're going to jot down who you are, what you stand for, what your why is, who your clients are, and your core values. And a lot more goes into this, but, um, my suggestion to you is just, Take it one day at a time, do a little bit every day, um, and by the time you know it, it's just gonna be ready uh, for you to just take off. So here we go. All right, so the first part of your business plan is gonna be your executive summary, which is kind of gonna summarize the whole business plan, um, and it's gonna be your first page, and there's gonna be a couple things that you're gonna list on here, but your main thing and something that I really want you to reflect on is your why. Why are you even beginning this business? Is it because you want independence? Is it because you're a mother and you need more income? Is it because you've been working under somebody else and you wanna take control of your life and you wanna book your own appointments and you just want to be in business for yourself, what is your why? There's going to be hard times and something's going to just have to keep pushing you and you have to remember on why you even started in the first place. So this is a very crucial question and something that should be just elaborated on and meditated on a little bit. So take this really seriously. Um, I'm going to jump into the business overview and that's pretty much going to state on who are you? What is your business about? Uh, what's your mission? The services offered, what services are you going to offer? Are you going to just groom dogs? Are you going to do dogs and cats? Are you going to offer massages? Are you going to, I don't know, groom guinea pigs? All right, your next one is going to be customer focus. Who's going to be your target market and who are you going to offer these services to? After that is management and pretty much if you're going to manage your own business, uh, right here you're going to say who you are, what your core values are, and how are you going to manage your business? What are, what are the things that you're going to do day to day to keep up with your mobile grooming business? And then the last one on executive summary is success factors. What are you going to do every day that is different from your competitors to make sure that you are providing quality service. All right, so the second part is gonna be your company overview. And here you're gonna start off with talking about the company and owner history. So you're gonna talk about you. How many years have you been grooming? What made you start this? Who are you? Why are you doing this? And I just want to tell you guys that you might see a lot of these things repeated within the business plan, but it's just going to help everything just come together at the end. So if you have to repeat some aspects, just do it because it's just going to help give it form. All right. So then the third part is the industry analysis. And here you're going to just elaborate on the demand of this industry and why. Now, in my previous video, I did say that there is a high demand for groomers, especially mobile groomers, but I want you to go ahead and find the statistics yourself. Do this research yourself so it could be ingrained in you and you understand why there's such a high demand and you are going to talk about it in this section, okay? Then it takes us to our customer analysis. You need to know who your customers are, what they like, why they like it, and what services do they need. So get into the real nitty gritty details on who you're offering your services to and why. Are you going to offer it to a specific area of your, you know, of the town that you live in? Are you going to concentrate on senior citizens, people that don't have time to go ahead and take their dog to the grooming salon? Like, who are you gonna target? So this way you could understand how to brand your business. 
All right, your competitive analysis. Here you're going to go ahead and you're going to go on Yelp or on Google and you're gonna find all the grooming salons and grooming businesses in your area. I did grooming salons and I did mobile salons because I just wanted to see who my competitors were um, in the mobile, in the grooming world. I wanted to see what their price ranges was, what they offer. And I kind of just wanted to see what competitive edge I could I could put into my business to kind of just be different. So I did all this research and I literally listed everybody's business and I just went ahead and like listed, say uh, I came across Anastasia's mobile grooming. Okay, what services does she offer? What areas does she offer it in? What is her target market and what her price points are and what's her competitive edge, right? And I also did a SWOT analysis. So SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So what are your strengths in your business? Like what, let's say maybe your strength is that you completed an IPG program and you know how to do breed haircuts very well into the T. Uh, your weaknesses, maybe your weakness is that you're gonna have to get into a little bit of debt to start your business, or maybe your weakness is that you're a one man band for a little bit. Um, your opportunities, what are your opportunities? What are your opportunities to grow? You're gonna start by yourself, but maybe you want a fleet of vans. Um, maybe you wanna go ahead and get a storefront later on. So list that, and then your threats. What are your threats? What's going to be maybe a bit of a downfall in the beginning? Um, you could put your competition here, so which is not really a threat, only because there is a big demand for groomers. So, all right guys, next up is your marketing plan, which is so exciting because this is where you're going to create your brand. You don't just wanna create a business, you wanna create a brand. So when people hear your name or see your logo, they're like, oh, you know, this person has created a world within their community and that way you could branch out to other things. If you wanna have your own shampoo line, you can, and they're just gonna know of you because you created a brand so you could branch out all right and here you're also going to talk about your promotion strategy so you're a brand new business owner with a brand new van and you need to get the word out so how are you going to do that are you going to do facebook ads are you going to do instagram ads are you going to go to your supermarket every day in your van are you going to park your van up at a target are you going to tell all your family and friends like how are you gonna get your word out? Are you gonna do some promotion in the beginning? And then last but not least, your pricing strategy. How are you gonna price things? Why are you gonna price things? I have a whole video on pricing strategy and expenses that you should check out if you haven't so already. Um, but my theory in pricing is see what your expenses are, see how much you have to price a dog at, Okay, so your business could break even and make profit. Um, and start thinking about value versus hourly. Okay, start thinking about that. I do not go by an hourly rate. I go by the value that I'm offering that client. And that's how I charge. Based on the expenses that my business has and the profit that I want to make. Okay, so before I go on to the last section of your business plan, I do wanna add into the marketing section of your business plan. This is where you're gonna write down where you're gonna get your van wrapped, if you're gonna get vinyl, if you're gonna get fully wrapped, if you're gonna have a website, um, who's gonna do it for you, or are you going to do it yourself? And you're gonna to wanna to add all the little timelines. So you're gonna to have to stick with a plan because right this is what it is it's a plan but if it doesn't have a timeline then you're really never gonna do it right so you want to hold yourself accountable and right after you put everything that your business is going to need to require to get off the ground you want to start putting dates i need to have this done by this day i need to have this done by this day and once you start getting it done just to check it off i'm a very big on lists and checklists and it's helped me um, do everything that I needed to do within my business. I know that it could seem overwhelming, but if you do this with a lot of things, not just grocery lists, it's a life hack. Okay.
So with that being said, van wrap, you need a logo, you need business cards, and I do recommend you have a website. All right, so the last part is operations plan. Okay, this is where you're going to list what needs to be done every day, what needs to be done monthly and annually, what hours will you work, how many pets will you do, who does what, when, and how, and where, okay, this is if you are starting with somebody else, and your booking app, are you going to be doing um, booking over the phone, are you going to send everybody over to an app, so... When it comes to this, what I'm talking about is where are you gonna get your water from? Who's gonna service your generator if you have one? Who is gonna service your van? Who's going to be your mechanic? All of these little things have to be thought of before and written down, okay? So the next part of the operations plan is your milestones. What are your long-term and short-term goals? So let's say you just started, but you know that you want to have a fleet, okay? No matter how far you see it, just start writing this down. Start writing down um, after three years, you want to finance another van or you want to get another van and you want to build your, and you want to get employees and you need to start doing this because your first year is just going to be a blur. And then your second year is just gonna go by so fast. And by the time you know it, you're gonna be in your third year and you're gonna say, okay, I, I haven't mapped out a plan to where I want it to be. Time's going by so quick. So do it from the beginning. And if you need to cross things out as you go, you can. And if you need to change things, you can. But just think about, think about this in the beginning so you know where you're starting and you know where you're heading. All right, guys, last but not least, your financial plan. Woo! this is exciting this is exciting y'all all right i did do a video on your expenses what you your an idea of your expenses are going to be when you start out a mobile grooming business and um you're actually going to want to put a lot more detail into here you're going to want to put your capital requirement if you're borrowing money um how much money are you going to need how are you going to use those funds how are you going to pay back those funds? Are you going to be aggressive with it? Do you want to be out of debt in a certain amount of time to buy yourself a new van um, or buy yourself a fleet or even invest in a storefront? So what do you want to do with your money? How much money are you requiring and what your expenses are going to be? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it brought value to you. And if so, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel as I will be sharing more tips, tricks, and just my adventure on mobile grooming. Um, and I also added a questionnaire that you guys could fill out on the description box below that'll help you kind of just gear up to your um, business plan. So happy 2021. Today is the first Monday of 2021 and I just really wish nothing but the best for all of you and i hope you guys go for your wildest dreams thank you bye, -bye.